it's, it's been a really interesting experience coming back to a place where I haven't lived for a long time and, and sort of realizing how great of an art community there is here in I have here six paintings uh, that uh, were inspired by images taken through the Hubble Space Telescope that I found on the internet. And when I saw these images, I was blown away by them. Here was a reality that we knew nothing about, that nobody had ever seen or experienced directly. And I said, why couldn't I make these images the subjects of spacescapes, where I would be free from the horizon line? I would be as if in space, where there's no up or down, no right or left. And I could be absolutely free to paint with abandon. And that's what I did. I was working on pen and, uh, well, actually ink wash and pen and ink drawings. Um, and yesterday, during the first day of post, the attention of people who came in was largely on the, the black and white ink wash, and I sold one of them. So I figured today I would set up and uh, go ahead and make more of them, you know? And actually, I didn't manage to sell another, another few. Good, good post for me. Excellent. This is actually supposed to be a painting that I'm working on. Oh. So that's me uh, gone. And here's the uh, applesauce that is now they're gone. So, uh, I have, I've never had any training in, in art, and uh, but I've always loved art, and I grew up with art. My parents were great art lovers, and moved here in uh, uh, 2001 from Austin, Texas, and um, we bought a wonderful historic house in the heart of, of Philadelphia, Center City, Society Hill, and it was all white walls and. And I grew up. I grew up in the Mexican border in, in the Southwest, in Mexico, in on the in El Paso, Texas, which is right on the Mexican New Mexico border. So very much of an influence of all that. And I just needed some color, so I decided to paint our house. Cause I, I didn't know anyone. I didn't know. I thought, well, I can do this because I'm not working. And so I painted our house, and then I started sort of dabbling with you know other sort of mediums and stuff, and you know pencil and wash and acrylic and and um, I've all I, I I collect collect Saint Francis's um, uh, Saint Francis of Assisi. I just love he's the patron saint of animals, children, and kindness. And so I started doing patron saints, Santos. Mostly St. Francis's, and then I did a St. Dymphna uh, for my brother, who's a psychologist. She's the patron saint of psychologists and psychiatrists, and so I did that for my brother Mark. And then, and then I did a St. Andreas, who's the patron saint of fishermen, for my brother David, who, who uh, likes to fish. And then, of course, I've got my St. Francis's here. And then St. Pasquale, who's the patron saint of cooks and kitchens. And then, you know, there was St. Cecilia for patron saint of music and musicians, and then there's Santa Catalina, who's the patron saint of artists and craftsmen, and then I, I got some, uh, uh, a couple of commissions to do patron saints for um, some priest friends, a friend of mine, 